the reactions that happen when your expectations fail from getting from the other or external world. That's when it fails, you are upset, angry, fearful, frustrated, self-rejection, guilt, all those things happen. That takes your life away and it creates even more stress in your life. So, if I tell you, if I ask you how much of your stress comes from trying to arrange and create and manage external life situations so that nothing is disturbing to you. How much of your stress comes from that? How, how much of your stress comes from having a relationship which you, are not, which you cannot control? How much of your stress comes from uh, managing your habits that you cannot? Everything we do is creating stress in life. So how to, and that stress is excessively engaging into sympathetic nervous system. And so much tensions we create that we cannot, the parasympathetic nervous system cannot restore the balance. In animals, they don't have ability to create excessive stress by indulging in sex or drugs or alcohol or indulgence in excessively in sensual pleasure. Nothing, they don't have such facility. They have no ability to violate the universal laws. Therefore, they don't have hospitals. They don't have doctors. I'm not talking about the pets. But in jungle, animals, they have no jails and no police force, no armies, you know, this, nothing. Why? Because they live in the harmony with the universal consciousness, means they, they live by their biological appetites with no addiction to the, to the, of the ego to seek that approval, acceptance, name, fame, everything outside. And when you use your prana to get what you want outside and with the hope to fulfill the inside, it doesn't work. So while you have come here doing this beautiful work of catharsis of the toxins from the body, you learn how to initiate the catharsis of the emotional releases that are also blocking. And this biological catharsis and psychological catharsis are interrelated. So when you go through this, you might experience some things of something unpleasant, discomfort. Sometimes people have the memories of the old traumas that also gets released. But when we combine with understanding how to release it emotionally, while it happens in day-to-day -day life, in relationships, you can truly build your health, reduce your stress and conflicts in life, and live in tune with the rhythm of the cosmic polarity, where consciousness and energy are in harmonious co-creation. And that is what happens when you become enlightened. You have you are not trying to prove anything to anybody. You're not trying to achieve a lot more money so you have more comfort. You're not looking for a relationship that will make you comfortable and settled. Nothing. That's called enlightenment. Why? Because you have found it within yourself. You have seen that you have learned the secret of how to find that within you because the source of love is within you source of harmony, only you can enter. So, just so that you can remember why we combine yoga with Ayurveda, so you can continue to learn yoga along with this, the inner dimension of yoga. External is also useful, because when you do yoga postures, pranayams, it initiates catharsis, yes? But when you do it just as a physical discipline, the catharsis is superficial. 
But when you do it, the inner dimension of yoga, catharsis, is from the source. That's what we are talking about.